Greetings guys. In this video, I'm going to talk a lot more about how we can use the generative AI function to create amazing backgrounds for products. So let's say we have received images for a bunch of different perfumes and uh, one of the images is where we want to kind of create perfumes and face washes or hand washes and we want to create like a nice aesthetic background. So let's say this is a strawberry face wash. We can kind of create different backgrounds for the same. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is removing and clipping the background. The second thing we're going to be doing is adding the margin. Now, as soon as we add the margin, we're going to put the width, the height, and let's say the margin guidelines from every place. Now we're going to kind of, and then the alignment as well. I'm going to try and create like different types of backgrounds to see what the depth of the model also is then go ahead and generate a background in this case let's put in a prompt of placed on a marble table in front of snow laden mountains real photo and we call it depth of field So all of these visual cues will kind of, okay, it's given me like a nice aesthetic image. I think I kind of like the background as well and how it looks. And now I am actually going to be able to process and create these workflows as well. Or maybe I want to probably see the same thing place on a wooden table, let's say. And in this case, I would say surface and in front, instead of snow laden mountain, I would say a straw berry field. So then we have like this nice aesthetic image where we have it around a strawberry field as well. And if we can also kind of put in uh, something else, like in this case, wooden surface in front of a strawberry field or a forest with st strawberries flying around. So I'm trying to like show you how you can prompt it differently and what it will kind of showcase as the image as well. Uh, let's try another kind of product and see what we can do with that. Uh, let's try this bottle of perfume. I mean, sorry, this mock-up product that we have. And let's try and place this in a more abstract background. For example, like see here it has given us some flying strawberries. But let's say I would want this product to be placed on a white surface with splashes of red 3D paint flying around 3D art depth of field. And let's say we call it a blender render. So here I'm trying to kind of, you know, create a, what would you call it? A very splashy kind of image. And this is what kind of I've been able to do with it. Now, the same thing is where kind of, you know, I am able to change the color and let's say call the red to yellow. Save it. Go ahead, create this workflow. And then, you know, let's try and use it on a couple of images as well. So let's try and use it on one, two, three, four, five. 
just trying to show you how you know and let's probably get two options for each just trying to show you how you can use it for an abstract photo or suffer something that's more realistic as well uh like for example while these images are generating i'll show you and how we've been able to kind of remove the background do all of that and then place the shoe on a road for example and then kind of give it that realistic look and while these images are coming out we can quickly view them as well so there we have like the splashes of the yellow paint etc and all of that in place So the idea here was to show you that how, you know, you're able to control the, the images by using the right kind of prompt and giving like a standard kind of out, output for all your images as well. Now again, you can go ahead, you can edit this workflow and say with like a, uh, with splashes of sparkle around celebration and joy uh, 3D. So just like I'm putting in an abstract idea to see, okay, what would it do uh, and what kind of output? Okay, it's given me a nice one. Now, instead of white, I can just say black. I've changed the prompt around. I'm trying to see, okay, what is, oh, wow. So it's kind of created this nice design. I like it. So I'm going to update it. And then I'm going to use this design again. We already have the images uploaded and process them. So that's how quickly, you know, you're able to kind of generate backgrounds. You're able to change it around. You're able to kind of something very similar I've done here, which in this case is for a bag. Uh, then we would have something for like a bottle of perfume, which is nicely positioned on a table as well. Uh, yeah, something very similar here. So that's what I'm trying to demonstrate. Like you're able to put towels and effectively show them do that too. Our, our images have already started coming out. So I'm going to quickly open it. And this is what like I meant, like when I said celebration and sparkles and like 3D and like make it look fun. So it has given us that celebratory feel. And gone ahead and like given us a lot of what we put in the prompt as well. So that's the idea, a few ideas on how you can generate beautiful kind of graphics for your uh, product shots or for your products at scale. So that's a little bit about uh, our generative AI background function, guys. Thank you so much and please watch the other video.